Welcome to Guide Yoga, my friends. In today's practice, I prepared for you a sequence that will help you to improve your posture, especially if you're sitting all day long at your desk, working at a computer, or if you're writing all day long, studying, maybe you're a student. It makes us uh, stay crooked and rounded in our back all day long, shifting our heads forward, making the front line pretty tight. And in today's practice, we'll be opening the front line and working with the back line, the sides and the spiral myofascial lines to improve our posture, balance out the body. And we will be working with the rib cage to improve our breath, releasing our diaphragm and incorporating some self myofascial release techniques around the chest and the pubic area to release the tension that we are storing in this area which also adds up to the rounded posture and it's really important for us to focus on our posture as all our organs are here and when we are rounding up we don't have enough space for the heart for the lungs to open up and to pump the blood and the oxygen and also when we start shifting our head forward like this you cannot walk like this so we start shifting our gaze up and we are compressing the neck vertebras and we are compromising the blood flow the lymph flow the nerve impulses it can cause uh, different health issues and we don't really want that so it's really important you focus on your posture and today's practice will really help you make sure to practice it regularly and today's class is brought to you by flexispot.com flexispot.com specializes in standing desks today's feature desk is flexispot canna pro bamboo standing desk ec8 it will help you feel less tired after a long workday as you switch from sitting to standing and set an ideal desk height taking pressure away from your back and improving your performance. The desk is very high quality and easy to assemble. The instructions are very clear and I was able to put it together in less than one hour. The durable metal frame has an electronic control that is used to customize the height of your desk. All you need to do is press arrows up or down or use memory seating to set your perfect seating or standing desk height to promote healthy posture. It's very important to give your body a break from seating, but we can't always leave the desk and go for a walk when we are at work. The minimum you can do is switch from seating to standing regularly. The desktop is made of bamboo material and is very light, smooth and very stylish. This desk will be a perfect addition to any office and interior. I can see it as an ideal desk for homework or homeschooling desk that can grow with your child, especially if you have children of different ages. It will guarantee all your kids have perfect desk height to make sure their postures are not compromised during learning. Get $15 off of your Canna Pro Bamboo desk by following my special link in the description under the video. Now, if you are ready to work on your perfect posture, let's begin practicing. If you are ready, roll out your mat and start in a comfortable seated position. Begin by tuning in into your body, connecting to your breath, breathing in through the nose, observing your inhales and exhales, slowing down your mind and relaxing more and more. When you are ready, lift your arms out through the sides, interlacing the fingers and lifting through the heart, opening the heart. Exhale, round the back, reach the palms to the front, and then inhale up and lift. Exhale, round, inhale up and lift, open the heart. Exhale, round, inhale up and lift, and lower the arms down, interlacing the fingers behind your back. Lift through the heart, and exhale, hinge through the hips, lower the chest and lift the arms up and forward to the front. Inhale, slowly begin rising up, opening the heart, and exhale, folding down. Inhale, up and lift, extend through the front line. Exhale, fold down. Now lift halfway and rotate the chest to the right, stretching through the right shoulder and gently moving your head. Start rotating back to the center and move to the opposite side. Rotate the chest to the left, arms to the right. Move the head gently. Inhale and exhale, return to center. Extend the arms to the side and start reaching the arms forward and then out. Keep your arms in one line with the ears, 
or maybe even behind the ears. Observe how difficult or easy it is for you. Lower the arms down and fold into your forward fold. Observe how it feels in your lower back, in your hips. And now keep your left palm on the mat and rotate your chest to the right, reaching your right arm back. Inhale up and forward, cross it to the left, up and exhale, twist. Inhale up and exhale to the left. Inhale up and twist. Exhale, lower the arm down and see if you can move a little deeper to the left side. Observe how it feels in your lower back. Breathe into the lower back. And now you can hook the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh, finding a deeper twist if you wish. Keep breathing into your rib cage. Keep connecting to the sensations. Inhale and exhale, slowly release the twist. Bring the palms behind you and move into a gentle seated back bend. Open the heart and gently move the head from side to side. Observe how it feels in your neck, all the way from the ear to your sternum. Slowly reverse to neutral, create fists, and with your knuckles start rubbing the front of your chest, moving the skin on top of your sternum from side to side, up and down in a circular direction. And now with the right knuckles, guide the tissue all the way to the left shoulder, and now switch, left knuckles guiding the tissue all the way to the right. And now massage the bones right in front of the ears and walk around the ear to the back of the skull and start gliding the knuckles down your neck all the way to the clavicle bones from the back of the ear all the way to the center, all the way to the sternum, up and down, applying gentle pressure, observing how it feels and you can start massaging the clavicle bone, gliding the skin, the tissue. And now press your fingers right above the collarbone in the little groove between the neck and the collarbone. And press gently, observing how it feels. Maybe you'll feel some tension areas. You can start moving the neck from side to side. And now massage the back of your neck, gliding the skin. Lower the arms and change the cross of your legs. Hinge forward and reach the arms all the way to the front and then back like you did previously. Back and forward, keep the arms in one line with the ears. Front and now start twisting, lower your right arm down, reach the left arm back. Exhale, cross it all the way to the right. Inhale up and lift, feel a nice twist in the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale up and lift, twist. Exhale, fold. Lower the arm down and start moving a little deeper into a twist, keeping both palms on the floor. Breathe into the left side of the lower back. Expand the ribs. And now see if you can go into a little deeper twist, hooking the elbow to the outside of the right thigh, pressing the palms together and sending your right shoulder to the left side of the room. You can gently rotate the head from side to side and when you are ready start releasing the twist, reverse into a seated back bend, reach the arms behind you, put them to the floor, push the floor away from you and lift through the heart, finding a nice back bend, opening your chest, your shoulders, your neck, breathing in and breathing out through the nose, gently moving your head from side to side, observing how the neck feels. And now lift your right arm up and do a big spiral to the left side. Inhale up and open, rotate the chest to the right and exhale, spiral to the left. Inhale up and lift, expand through the heart. Exhale, spiral. Lower the arm down and switch sides. Left arm is going up and exhale, spiral your left shoulder to the right. Inhale up and lift, open the heart. Exhale, spiral. Inhale, up and lift, expand, and exhale, spiral. Take a big breath in into the back line, and exhale, slowly reverse. Bring the palms behind you, and again, lift through the heart. 
opening the heart center, expanding the chest, stretching the neck, moving the head from side to side. You can do gentle circles with the shoulders, rotating the shoulders up, back and down, noticing how it feels. And when you're ready, transition into your tabletop, having the palms right under the shoulders, knees right under the hips, and press your whole shin bones into the mat. As you stay rooted, start shifting your hips back and reversing forward. Keep your spine neutral and your deep core activated. And now as you shift back, start tucking the tailbone under, gazing to the belly button and making a big way forward, keeping your upper back rounded. And as you align the shoulders over the wrist, reverse to neutral. Inhale, shift back and exhale, make a big, big wave moving forward. Reverse to neutral. Inhale back and exhale, big wave forward. Now prepare to reverse your waves, tucking the chin, puffing up the upper back, middle back, lower back, shifting back, lengthen through the spine and then reverse to tabletop. Keep moving this way, puffing up the back as much as you can, noticing how different the reversed wave feels. And now slowly move forward and lower your forearms down. Keep your elbows close to one another, bring the palms together and sink through the armpits, keeping your hips right above the knees if possible. Observe how it feels on the sides of the ribs, the sides of the armpits, your chest, your shoulders, your middle back. Breathing in and breathing out. Press the elbows into the mat and start lifting your armpits up and shifting your shoulders forward, transitioning to your belly. Place the forearms down aligning the shoulders above the elbows and track your elbows all the way back lifting through the heart rotate your right ear to the right shoulder and start moving your chin up and down feeling a nice stretch on the back of the ear and the front of the ear moving all the way down to the collarbone slowly reverse to neutral lift through the heart and now opposite side left ear to the left shoulder and start tucking the chin down and lifting up. Observing the sensations on the right side of your neck. Breathing in and breathing out. Letting go any tension in this area. You can do a couple of circles with your head. And now we will do sphinx waves. Press the forearms into the mat, tuck the chin, draw the pubic bone in. Lift the elbows and then start lifting through the heart, opening the front line. Exhale, soften the elbows down and keep moving, tuck the tailbone, peel the belly, tuck the chin, lift the elbows and then lift through the heart. Exhale, lower the elbows down one more time, tuck the tailbone, peel the belly, chest, round the back, lift the elbows and then move the head from side to side, lifting through the heart. Exhale, lower the forearms down and start moving your forearms slightly forward into extended sphinx. Drag the forearms back as you lift through the heart and then lift the elbows. Breathe here. Exhale lower and move the forearms to the front. Drag the forearms back and lift through the heart. Keep your feet together, energize the legs and lift the elbows. Notice how it feels. Exhale, lower, keep your chest lifted and just extend the arms back, lifting your legs. Start reaching your arms to the front and then out and back. Keep moving. Notice how it feels in your shoulders, in your neck, in the back line, keeping your core engaged and legs energized. Now start pulsing opposite leg and arm. Observing how it feels, strengthening the back line, connecting to your core. Keep your chest lifted and legs hovering, keeping your glutes engaged. And now send your arms back, bend your knees, grab your ankles or your feet, start pressing the feet into the palms and lifting through the heart. 
moving your head from side to side and maybe rocking forward and back, massaging your belly, moving from the pubic bone more to the belly, to the lower ribs, forward and back. Slowly release, soften, let go of the legs. And now bend the right elbow, close the joints, touching the shoulder with your palm and move the right elbow to the left side of the mat while you're sinking down with your chest, keeping your shoulders even and controlling the intensity. You should feel the stretch on the outer side of the shoulder and sides of the ribs. Breathe and maybe move the head from side to side. And now when you're ready, release and do the opposite side. Close the elbow, keep the palm on the shoulder, and now just move the elbow to the right side while you're sinking with both shoulders and the sternum down. Notice how it feels on the outer edge of the shoulder and the ribs. Keep breathing in and breathing out, relaxing as much as you can. Inhale and exhale slowly, release, extend your arms to opposite sides and now root through your pubic bone and palms into the mat, pushing the floor away from you and start peeling your nose and chin and chest off of the mat, focusing on extension. And as you exhale, lower. Inhale, press the palms into the mat. Observe how it feels in your arm lines, your chest and your neck. Lift and exhale, lower. Inhale, up and lift, lengthen through the crown. Exhaling, folding down. And now keep your left palm on the mat and rotate the hips and the chest to the right. Step your right foot behind you and lift your right arm up and send it back. Observe how it feels in your chest and your shoulder. Breathing in and breathing out. Exhale, lower your right palm down. And now create a fist with the right hand and place it right under the area where the chest connects to your armpit, to the shoulder. Sink all your weight into the knuckles. And you're gonna feel a nice release in these areas. This is your self myofascial release. And this area is pretty tight for most of us as our shoulders stay rounded and the chest muscles are getting really tight. You can gently rock here, but be mindful of the intensity. We don't want to feel any crazy pain. Slowly reverse and sink your chest down and relax. Let the tissues to rehydrate. You can gently move from side to side, placing the palms to the outside of the mat and start rising up like a cobra, extending through the front line, extending the arms. Move your head from side to side, noticing how it feels on the left side of the chest and on the right. Gently rotate the head to the left and right and lower down. And now do the opposite side. Extend your right arm to the right and rotate the chest to the left. Step your left foot behind you, lifting the left arm up and sending it back. Observe how it feels in your chest and your shoulder and control the intensity, breathing in and breathing out through the nose. And now release and take the variation with the knuckles right under the chest, the area where the chest connects to your armpit. Be mindful of the intensity and keep breathing here. Allow yourself to melt into your knuckles, all the way sinking into your hand and releasing the chest. You can gently rock from side to side, releasing the pressure and putting more pressure in if it's too intense for you to stay in one position. Keep breathing and observing how bad it is, how intense it is, or maybe how easy it is. Everyone is different. Slowly release and take a moment to rest here. You can circle the shoulders and start moving again from side to side. Feeling your belly, your ribs off of the mat, extending through the arms into a nice back bend and observing how it feels in the front of the body on the left and the right side of the chest. You can do a gentle rotation of the head from side to side and notice maybe you have a little bit more freedom in your neck and in your chest. Now press the palms into the mat, shifting your hips back and start scooping the tailbone under, making a big wave forward into half plank. Inhale, shift back, exhale, tuck the tailbone, gaze to the belly button, shifting forward. 
and slowly lower the hips down. Take your right fist and press the knuckle in the middle of your chest, in your sternum area. And if you are a girl, you can move your breasts on the sides to give more space for your knuckles in the center. Start sinking all your weight, you can move your elbow slightly more to the front to have the knuckles pressing more into the sternum. Observe how it feels, be mindful of the intensity. Some of us are pretty tight and sensitive in this area, so remember you are in charge of your practice and how deep you go. And now release and do the other side. Bring the left knuckle in the center of your chest, sinking all your weight into the knuckles and you can play with the position of your elbow of the forearm so that you could have more weight into the knuckle. As you allow the ribcage to expand, it will press into the knuckle, creating more intense sensations. And now slowly release, press the palms into the mat, lift through the heart. And now start peeling your toes off of the mat, reaching your palms back and start pulsing your legs in your locust pose, breathing, engaging the core, lifting through your heart. Keep lengthening through the crown and keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale and exhale slowly, lower the feet down, lower the chest down and start reaching your palm to the back of the knee, one side and then the other, feeling a nice compression in your waistline, strengthening the back body. Inhale and exhale slowly lower down, press the palms into the mat and shift the hips back to rest in your child's pose. Take a couple of deep inhales and exhales. Press the palms into the mat, rising up into tabletop. Shift the hips back, scoop the tailbone under, making a big way forward, pressing the toes into the mat, lifting the knees, finding your rounded plank creation and start lifting the right knee, compressing the knee to the armpit and extending the leg. Two, three, four, and five. Move into pigeon, sinking the hips down. Send your arms behind you, interlace the fingers, glide the palms down the back thigh and lift through the heart, finding your back bend. Opening the heart, opening the belly. Breathe with your lower belly, connect to the pelvic floor. Inhale and exhale, begin releasing and folding down into twisted pigeon. Thread your left arm under the right armpit and lift your right arm and send it back. You can make big, big circles with the right arm, stretching through the front line of the body through the right armpit area and your chest. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now see if you can add a quadriceps stretch. Left palm is getting the left toes and you're reaching the heel to the glute. Try to stay squared, lifting through the heart and sending your breath all the way down to your belly. Inhale and exhale, release the foot and slowly transition to your downward facing dog. Step your right foot to the back, sink through the armpits. Now lift your heels and make a big way forward into a rounded plank Puff up the back, connect to the core, bring the tops of the feet to the mat. Lift your left leg up and squeeze the knee to the armpit. Bring it in and out. Three, four, five. And now move into pigeon, lifting through the heart, squaring off through the hips. Send your palms behind you, interlace the fingers and lift through the heart. Open the chest, open the rib cage, the diaphragm, the throat, the shoulders. Inhale and exhale, slowly release and begin folding down into a twisted pigeon. You can be on the forearm if it's too intense for you when you're lowering down to the shoulder. You can make big circles with your top arm opening the front of the chest and your armpit area. Inhale and exhale, release, rising up and try to get your back foot find in a quadriceps stretch. Use a strap or a belt if needed. Try to lift through the heart and stretch through the front of the right hip. Breathing in and breathing out, noticing when you feel your sensations. Inhale and exhale slowly release. 
press the palms into the mat and transition to your downward facing dog. Working your legs here, noticing how your hamstrings feel. And now lift your heels and start gazing to the belly button, tucking the tailbone under, making a big wave forward. Shift the hips back to downward dog and again lifting the heels up, big wave forward. Lengthen through the crown into regular plank. Shift the hips back and now step your right foot to the front into warrior one. Lift the arms up and keep your palms together, gazing towards the palms, lifting through the heart. Inhale and exhale, lower the arms down, sending the palms behind you, interlacing the fingers and finding your back bend. Open through the heart. Exhaling, folding down, reach the knuckles to the front. Inhale, rise up, find your back bend, keep the front knee bent. Exhaling, folding down, reach the knuckles to the front of the room. Inhaling, rising up, stretch through the front line. And exhale, fold, finding a nice stretch for your shoulders. Lift halfway, release the hold on the fingers and reach the arms to the front. And start moving the arms to the sides and back, sides and to the front. And now bring the palms together and twist to the right side. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right thigh and breathe here. Observe how it feels around the ribcage. Inhale and exhale slowly release. And now transition into warrior two. Adjust the position of the back foot if needed. Lift your right arm up into reversed warrior. Straighten the front leg and start spiraling your right armpit all the way to the left as if you're trying to touch the left toes. Feel a nice stretch on the right side of the body and start making big circles with the right arm connecting to the glide in your right shoulder blade. You can reverse the direction, noticing the sensations. Inhale and exhale slowly release, bend the front knee and now transition into bound side angle stretch. Wrap your arms around the thigh or you can just reach the fingers to the inner thigh if the bound is not possible today. Inhale and exhale, release your bind, frame the front foot. And now rotate your right toes to the right and left heel to the left as you scissor the legs. Press the feet into the mat, lifting the hips up, stretching through the side. Exhale, sink the hips down. Up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, and now return to your lunge, lower the left knee down and find your quadriceps stretch. Bend the left knee, reach the left heel to the glute. Observe how it feels in your quad, maybe it feels a little bit more comfortable. Inhale and exhale, slowly release. And now bring your right palm to the floor and move your torso away from your right thigh. You can move your foot into external rotation and lift your right arm up and back, making big, big circles. Opening through the rib cage, the armpit area, the belly, reversing the direction, observing how it feels. Inhale and exhale, slowly reverse. Root through the right foot, frame the foot and shift the hips back. And start moving forward, bending the front knee and then shifting the hips back a couple of times, forward and back. And now as you move forward, sweep your arms forward and up, finding your back bend. Exhale, push the foot into the mat, shift the hips back, through the sides and back, and now move forward, up into back bend. Exhale, sweep your arms down and back, now through the sides to the front, sides to the back, and then forward and up, sink the hips. One more time, sweep your arms down and back, Sides and front, sides and back, and move forward and up into deeper back bend. Exhale, lower your arms down, lift the back knee up, and now you can hold here, breathing in, and now bend the front knee a couple of times, pulse, and step your right foot back into plank. Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, and exhale, downward dog. Lift your heels and make a big, big wave forward into a rounded plank and now sink through the chest, shifting back. Big wave forward and now down and back. One more time, shift forward and now sink through the chest, send the hips back and step your left foot to the front of the mat, finding your warrior one. Lifting your arms up, keep the palms together if you wish and gaze towards the fingers. 
Keep your heart opening up and rooting through the feet. Inhale and exhale, lower the arms down behind your back, interlace the fingers and find your back bend. Exhaling, folding down, reach the chest to the floor and arms to the front. Press through the front foot, inhale, up and find your back bend. Exhaling, folding down. Inhale, up and back, find your back bend. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, lift halfway, release the hold on the arms and reach the palms to the front. Hover alongside the ears and reach them back. Keep moving forward and back, observing how it feels in your shoulders and your neck. Bring the palms together and find a nice deep twist, hooking the right elbow to the outside of the left thigh. Keep your back foot on the mat. Keep your right leg straight. Inhale and exhale, release your twist, transitioning into your warrior two. Keep the front knee bent, back leg straight. Rotate the top palm up and reverse the warrior. Stretch to the lateral line, observe how it feels around the ribs. Straighten the front leg and spiral your left armpit to the right side, observing how it feels around the left ribs and start making big circles with your left arm and slowly reverse. Notice how it feels around the back line as you keep lengthening towards the toes. Inhale and exhale, slowly release and find your bind. Wrap your arms around the thigh or take the modification. Keep the back leg straight and the root through the foot. Inhale and exhale, release the bind, twist to the left side and now rotate the toes to the side, finding your scissor legs and start moving your hips up and down. As you lift the hips up, stretch through the whole lateral line and then sink down. Moving up and down, observing how it feels around the hip. Slowly reverse to front of the room and find your quadriceps stretch. Noticing maybe this stretch feels a little bit more comfortable than normally. Inhale and exhale, release your foot. And now start moving your torso all the way to the right, externally rotating your left thigh. Observing how it feels in your hip flexor. Keep your right palm on the mat and lift your left arm up and reach it back, finding yourself in this twisted backbend variation. You can take big circles with the arm opening through the rib cage and your armpit area. Inhale and exhale, slowly reverse. Start moving your hips forward and back, bending the front knee and extending. Observing how it feels in your hamstring and the front of the right hip. Inhale, start lifting the chest up and sweeping your arms forward and up into a nice back bend. Exhale, sweep your arms back, move the arms through the sides to the front, back and then up and back bend. Keep moving the hips while you're moving the arms. Sides, back forward and up back bend and then exhale down and back side and front side and back forward and up back bend lower the palms down frame the foot lift the right knee up and extend both legs folding down deep inhale and exhale now bend the front knee pulse for two one two and step your right foot back chaturanga inhale upward facing dog lift through the heart exhale downward dog lift both heels up and make a big way forward rounding the upper back and exhale shift the hips back into downward dog inhale big way forward rounded plank exhale reverse inhale roll forward keep your upper back locked and only cat cow moves in your lower back isolate the lower back observe how can you control it and then you can shift to whole spine arching and rounding Observing how it feels, keep your heels lifted and slowly shift back to downward dog. Now lift the right leg up and bring the knee into the chest. Descend the shin bone down, sinking down into Z set position. The front shin bone is parallel to the front edge of the mat and the left knee is touching the right arch. Lift the right arm up and find the lateral stretches, adding gentle pulses here, working on the elasticity of the lateral line of the body. And now slowly draw the pubic bone in and add your spirals. Inhale up and lift through the heart. Exhale, spiral the armpits to the left. Inhale up and lift, open the heart. 
exhale spiral inhale rise up and lower the palm down and lift through the hips find any back bend exhale combine it with spirals lift the arm and spiral to the left up and lift through the hips find your back bend exhale down lift the right arm up find the spiral to the left and slowly release bring the right palm down and lift the left arm up spiral to the right side sinking more weight into the right hip inhale lift through the heart open the heart and exhale spiral to the right now lower both forearms down and if you wish go into a deeper stretch threading your left arm under the right armpit and noticing how it feels in your lower back in your rib cage take a couple of deep inhales and exhales through the nose sending your breath to your belly to your pelvic floor and now slowly rise up and start circling your chest to the front sinking the chest down between your knees softening through your belly and the pubic bone all the way down to the floor you can slowly move your torso from side to side observing how it feels in your outer hips in your ribs and slowly roll up keep your palms on the mat pull the mat apart and start rounding and arching your spine exhale round the back push the floor away from you and then inhale lift through the heart exhale round draw the pubic bone in inhale up and lift lengthen exhale round and then slowly return to neutral rise up bring the palms to the floor lifting the hips and start shifting the hips back move forward and back a couple of times and now add in your waves notice how it feels as your hip joints are opening shifting back rolling forward and returning to neutral now transition to your tabletop and do a couple of centering waves shift the hips back around the back line and move forward shift back and exhale to the front now step the left foot out to the side lift the left arm up and swing the arm under the right armpit sink the shoulder down press the right palm into the mat and feel a nice squeeze in your middle back notice how it feels in your inner left thigh inhale and exhale rise up transition into your tabletop position move your left shin bone forward sinking the hips down finding your ZZ position lift the left arm up and start doing your side bend pulses stretching through the ribs through the diaphragm noticing how it feels on this side and start rotating the chest finding your spirals exhale rotate the armpits to the right inhale up and open the heart exhale spiral inhale combining it with the back bend lift the hips open the front line and exhale sink the hips down add in your spiral observe how it feels in the back and the front line inhale up and lift expand through the heart exhale down this would feel really good if you have any scars or any tension in your pubic area exhale slowly sinking the hips down and now do the spirals to the opposite side rotate your right armpit all the way to the left and reverse exhale spiral inhale up and lift open the heart exhale spiral and lower the forearms down you can stay here and go into a deeper twist thread the arm under the left armpit sink through the chest soften through your belly deep inhales and exhales with your rib cage slowly rise up and start rotating the chest to the front of the mat centering yourself between your knees lengthen through the front line and fold over the shin bone try not to collapse to the left and shift a little more to the right you can do a little wave like movements and now when you're ready start rounding the back pushing the floor away from you inhale lift through the heart exhale make sure the pelvis is moving here up and lift exhale round inhale up and lengthen direct the pubic bone forward and down and then exhale round inhale shift the weight forward and lift up in this tabletop variation keep the palms on the mat and direct the hips back 
observe how it feels in your hip joint be mindful and control the depth the next time you shift back start scooping the tailbone under and making a big wave forward observe how it feels in your joint your sacrum your whole back line shifting back and exhale forward one more time inhale back and then exhale wave like forward return to neutral and step your right leg to the outside of the mat lift your right arm up and sweep the arm under the left armpit sinking the shoulder down press the left palm into the mat and send the left shoulder to the back observe a nice twist and nice compression in your middle back Inhale and exhale slowly release and take a couple of centering waves shifting the hips back draw the pubic bone in tuck the chin and make your way forward inhale back and exhale draw the pubic bone in returning to your tabletop position inhale lift your right knee up and cross it all the way to the left side of the mat sinking the hips down stretching through the front line and keep switching sides focusing on the front line extension observing how it feels in your hips, in your belly, pubic area and slowly transitioning back to your tabletop position. Start moving your hips from side to side, noticing how deep you can move your pelvis into the thigh bones. Position your palms mat with apart, rotate the fingers to opposite sides and as you push the floor away from you, round the back and then squeeze in the center. Puff up the back and squeeze, protract and retract observe how it feels in your middle back observe how your shoulder blades are gliding on top of the rib cage and start adding waves shift to one side squeeze in the center opposite side and then puff up the back side squeeze in the center other side and then puff up and change the direction making big waves noticing how your shoulder blades are gliding on top of the rib cage And now center yourself and do a couple of more protraction retraction moves squeezing in the center and then puffing up the back now keep your arms in the same position and start shifting the hips back and making a big way forward tucking the chin notice how it feels as you keep pushing the floor away from you with your arms into opposite sides and now change the direction tuck the chin puff up the back tuck the tailbone shift back and then return the spine to neutral shifting forward to the tabletop variation round the back tuck the tailbone shifting back and then lengthen through the whole spine through the crown and then reverse to neutral lower your forearms down and lower down to your belly creating fists place the fist knuckles facing down or up right under the pubic bone so the pubic bone is sinking into your knuckles or your fist, applying some pressure to the tissues, the muscles that are attaching to the pubic bone. Most of us store lots of tension in this area, and this is a self-myofascial release technique that you can do once or twice a week to release the tightness and tension in the pubic area. Now start doing pelvic clock moves, drawing the pubic bone in, lengthening through the lower back and the sacrum, and slowly directing the pubic forward and down as if you're going into a gentle arch. Don't overactivate your glutes and notice how it feels as you sink more pressure into the pubic bone. And now you can stay on this variation or start lifting your chin and chest slightly off of the mat, focusing on the extension on the spine, lengthening through the crown observing how it feels when you place more pressure into the pubic bone and now explore lifting one leg at a time you can start with the right lifting slowly and keep your pubic bone drawn into the ribs so you could feel more pressure in the pubic area and now opposite leg slowly lift and lengthen And now start exploring, lifting both the torso and the legs at the same time. It's just an option, a modification to take it further. And if just being on the knuckles without moving is already enough for you, then stay in that variation. And now explore bringing your knuckles and your fist a little higher than pubic area in the lower parts of your belly. 
And again, you can start moving the same way, doing little lifts with your torso, maybe with your legs, or just sink down with your belly and do pelvic clock moves, drawing the pubic bone in and then doing a little arch to reverse. So you will feel more pressure sinking into your knuckles as you draw the pubic bone in and then reversing. Just make sure you are breathing here, you are not squeezing the teeth and the jaw, relaxing as much as you can in your lower belly area. Explore lifting your legs one by one or both at the same time, or maybe lowering the legs and rocking from side to side, putting more pressure into one knuckle and then the other. Inhale and exhale, release the arms, relax your knuckles, you can glide the top of the skin and shift back into child's pose and start scooping the pubic bone under and making your way forward into half plank. Shifting back, make your way forward into half plank. And I'll slowly transition to a seated position, crossing your legs, lift your right arm up, and do the side stretch, noticing how it feels on the sides of the rib cage. You can start checking your rotation, reach your right arm forward, left arm back, and then switching sides, noticing how your rib cage is more open, noticing how deep are your breaths, observing how you feel around your neck. And you can do a couple of rounding and arching moves, noticing how this movement feels. And now start reaching your arms forward as if you're giving a hug to somebody and then reversing into back bend a couple of times. And move into a big hug, tapping the shoulders, telling yourself you did a really great job. Thank you again for joining me today for this beautiful class. I hope you feel great after this practice, more present in your body, your heart is more open and your whole body is relaxed. Thanks again to our sponsor FlexiSpot.com for bringing the class for free to the Gaiji Yoga community. Make sure to check out the Kena Pro Bamboo Standing Desk and get $15 off following the link in the description under the video. Until we meet again, Namaste.